Nobody has ever actually finished a beta reconstruction mod. There's bits and pieces that people have finished, like maybe just the beginning of the game or whatever, but nobody has ever actually made a complete version of the Half-Life 2 beta from beginning to end. And this mod does that in just the most low budget way possible so that they could actually manage to do it. Um, do, you, do you know what all the comments are going to be on this video? <laughs> This game's from the Half-Life 2 beta! Your turn, because you didn't get to play. <laughs> I didn't get to play the- oh. Or then you need to wake up and save City 17. Is that City 17 over there? <laughs> it's a Lego set. I'm a little bigger than, uh, the city. I don't know how- Gordon, we are on the route to City 17. An old oh, western. The jazzy music. Alright, that was an amazing chapter. I see why they call it a minimalist. <laughs> We've arrived. Oh, it's a completely different train. Gordon, we have arrived at City 17. I you can see that. The train apparently ran over somebody. Oh yeah, here he is. A true citizen knows the Yeti is the great tickets. Oh, look at the horse statues. They move. Oh, they do. You said it, buddy. <laughs> this is just the break room from Black Mesa. <laughs> Sick music. With no microwave, because we This blew is going to be the outro song for this video. <laughs> this Our friend here just had to go shop for this TV. And break his elbow, apparently. What's wrong with his elbow? Oh, <laughs> I see it. Maybe he's just double jointed. <laughs> is this how they make the cremators? <laughs> Are They're these doing research scientists? Important work on their computers. Why was it necessary to make them work over a bottomless pit? Hey, if they mess up, that board underneath them slides out and <laughs> plummets. I wouldn't be surprised if that was accurate to the beta lore. <laughs> Gordon. Friend of Barney, right? What? He asks if you're a friend of Barney. Are you? I, I don't want to answer, answer the that. man. I I tried. I pressed E on him, and it didn't work. What you the heard the. Can you got there, Regis? Don't know. The label come off. I figured we'd open her up and find out. Wait a minute. Wait a minute with that thing. How do you know it's fit to eat? How do you know it ain't got botulism? It got what? You know, the kids all think then it might have botulism. Multi-personality disorder. If it was all swole up. <laughs> you well, fellas, you think we swole up, you did it. No, I don't you can't do this. Oh, look. There goes the train. <laughs> San Francisco. Oh. To Lord knows where. I Probably mean, just into this wall. The bait <laughs> oh, it just oh. bounced off like Pong. <laughs> <laughs> the most exciting tram ride. You just bounce off the edges of the railway over and over again. Let's see what happens on this side. Oh, there they go. <laughs> What's the point? Get up and eat your botulism. It's like instead of the actual like combine being like ruthless criminals, they just put all the people who disobey them in timeout by making them go in here for like 15 minutes. Your turn. Is that supposed to be Breen? Or the beta equivalent? The beta equivalent. Do you know his name? Do you know his name? Oh, you're gonna get wrecked in the comments, dude. You don't Listen, even know his name. I'm surprised that nobody has gotten more upset with me than they have before about me not knowing that much about Half-Life. Like, our Borderlands fans were meaner to me. <laughs> the, our Borderlands fans don't exist anymore. No, <laughs> they went extinct. They're extinct, but back when they were around, oh my gosh, they hated me. This man's got such beautiful blue eyes. Police, they're here. Gordon, you gotta meet me at the radio. 
Why does Barna have graying hair? We gotta meet him at the radio. There it is. They always said the beta's a lot darker. <laughs> now I know what they meant. Get in your HEV suit. <laughs> Get, it. Get it off me. Oh, he just used sheer willpower to... To pry Lamar off of his head. He literally just deleted her from the timeline using his mind. Lord, get in the teleporter. I'm gonna is, be wait, real with you. Is his eye still no, there? No, that's, that's just a tattoo. It's not a real eye patch. <laughs> what? No, look at look at the top of his head. No, it's I like, know, but like it's just a texture edit. They did this in MS Paint using like the pencil tool. This, oh, oh, that's he's not wearing hair. A hat. Okay, that makes more sense. I was worried that he had he was aging. No, this teleporter looks way cooler than the one we got in actual Half Life Two, though. <laughs> Order. You are safe now. Safe here. Home under the sea. I'm not even gonna try to guess her name. Gordon, who are you? Get out of the citadel. <laughs> I like how chill Gordon. that guy is. He's like, oh, <laughs> what the heck? What are you doing here? Get out! Gordon. Doc. Poor sap. We gotta get out of here. Oh no, Kleiner. He dead. Oh, and the teleporter just exploded into nothing. Barney's seen some stuff. He just saw Kleiner get disintegrated, of course! Oh, he, he blonde! Uh... Who is driving this up oh, everywhere? We gotta get out of here quick. Kleiner's getting a little motion sick in here. He's dead! He exploded! Gordon, this baby into overdrive. <laughs> Gordon, I got another one. I'm shifting this baby into overdrive. Gordon, the ravine is here! We're gonna crash! Ah! He that just, was so preventable! He just T-posed out of existence. On, Gordon. Gotta go. Oh, jet skis. Wait, look up. To keep up with me. Where did it we come can. from? We crashed bus. Well, yeah, but like, where is the bus? This is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I choked on pizza. Oh, uh, there he goes. Uh, oh. How did he not see that? I guess that's how Barney dies in the beta. <laughs> jet ski accident. <laughs> Dies in tragic jet ski accident, and Kleiner kills himself with his own teleporter, and then resurrects himself, and then dies in the bus crash. That's Los Angeles down there. Gordon, it's you. You are the man they are hunting for. You will be safe here. You and Dog will meet now. Dog, over here. Dog! This is the most menacing thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Follow me to my projector room. In the Half-Life 2 beta, Eli's name was Eli Maxwell, and he was not the father of Alex Vance. Alex Vance- Lord, Earth was bright and shiny until that one day when the aliens invaded. The Combine put a citadel in the middle of New York. The creator of Black Mesa surrendered Earth after seven minutes. Now they have filled our streets with air and green skies. We must fight them, Gordon. Gordon, the particle storm is here! Run! <laughs> Good heavens. <laughs> Quick, get on the bus! Oh uh, no, Eli! Oh well. Why is there a bus here? 
Is this gonna do a jazz turn off to just like blow through the wall? <laughs> oh no, Clyder is still in it. It's the same bus we crashed like five miles back. Oh, I guess I guess dog went that way. Uh Okay. Your turn. Well we're at Raven home. We followed dog to Raven home. Look at that gun, it's beautiful. Why are all the guns so elongated? Oh my gosh. Like, an overseer to another... Okay, that was an interesting... <laughs> oh, wait, it just ends here? No, you died. And we... Did we save? You are not like my flock. You never should have come here. You are in the wrong part of the wasteland. You must get to the physics town. But I have puzzles. You must kill them to proceed. We gotta kill the puzzles. But I have puzzles! Oh. I thought I was just- ah! <laughs> Literally gets jump scared by the worst jump scare ever. Wait, wait, pick up the OICW! You need it, so please the comment- That's not the OICW! Where's the OICW? You just picked it up and it turned into the, 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 the MP5! What? It's part, <laughs> watch it be- Watch it be an MP7. And they're like, That's not the MP5, that's the MP7! You don't even know your- your heckler and coke. Okay, my turn. Oh. Hello. I, I hope that thing doesn't work either. Antlion Queen. There we go. Antlion Queen is dead. The deep. Oh, we're in jail again. Barney, is that you? Did you survive? Gordon, you check your zone. Gordon, check your zone. Is prison my zone? Maybe that was a hint. We gotta, we gotta check our zone. Or just wait for him to go outside the... Yeah, there he goes. And Man, the com black. The Combine were really cruel to just imprison people in cages out in the middle of the desert. Hey! It looks a lot morally darker. I'm in here. Okay, hold on a second. Oh. That was an accident, actually. I was trying to switch weapons and left click to choose what weapon I wanted. Where is my daughter? She needs to come home. Yeah, that's... <laughs> <laughs> this is, uh, this is like a picture of regular Alex taken at, in, in vanilla Half-Life 2. They photoshopped her hair red, her jacket green, and then used like face app to give her a smile. And they bumped up the saturation all the way up. Listen, okay, he's not gonna be listening anymore. <laughs> just, we just killed Alex's father. I'm sure he'll show up again. Of course, oh. Is this the reactor core? This is the thing from... Okay. It isn't anymore! Do you know what I was gonna say? No. Good. Our conversations are just as awkward as this mod is. Listen, that it's been that way for eight years. We're not gonna stop now. <laughs> this is why our friendship works. Because we don't know how to communicate? Yes! That's that's called something we have in common. <laughs> because Dude, this obviously... guy has dragon balls for eyes. Yeah, this is also the Dragon Tails beta. No, oh, Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball. No, in Goku. before in before Dragon Ball Z was the beta for Dragon Tails. What? <laughs> okay. I told him he'd come back. Wow, the char the that guy had a game, lot of guts. The characters in this game have a habit of coming back to life oh, just for their death scenes. The tugboat. The tugboat. This might be one of my favorite mods we've ever played. <laughs> oh, we're at the Borealis. Everybody's the favorite. Ship. 
There That's it is. The Borealis. This is the Borealis. Parkour. <laughs> oh. If there's a ladder on the side of the boat. You could have just swung there. Oh, he's gone. It. We're... Okay, that's actually some pretty decent voice acting. I think that's actually from the beta, like okay, from the actual that, files. <laughs> that makes sense. Gordon, we gotta get to the sun. To the got, sun? Sub. Gordon, oh. We are at the sub. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get to the sub. Okay, we're at Gordon, the sub. We are on the path of Boreal. Okay, Gordon, we've made it to the end of the path of the Borealis. This is the part where Tyler was crying. <laughs> like, he was just sitting here staring at the horizon, listening to the song. <laughs> and he's just sitting there tearfully watching I, this part. No, I can see why. This is a masterpiece. <laughs> The triage at dawn playing in the background, man. It's beautiful. Is it my turn? No! Okay, go ahead. Damn it, Gordon. Elena has escaped to the Citadel. You can't let them take control. If the ship makes its Oh, course, there's a guy here. The base is done for. Okay. <laughs> so let me into the Wait, tell. rabid monkey in the vent! There's a rabid monkey in the vent? I heard him. Oh, that's not a monkey. Uh, uh oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, it's a good thing that happened. I think you're supposed to help the, the rebels kill the gunships with your rocket. But you know, you could just stand there. That one's down. There we go. Congratulations, you defeated the entirety of the Combine. Listen also, to good this, video games when it's low stakes. This chapter heavily reminds me of Tip of the Spear in Halo Reach. <laughs> <laughs> Weather control. Alex Vance! Her mic quality is amazing. Wait, click E on her. Gosh dang it. You know, you should probably be helping. Kill the bad boys. I can't believe this guy just spawned out of nowhere. Really? You can't? No, I was being sarcastic, my guy. You really were? Yes. Was, were you being sarcastic by saying that? Yes. <laughs> I can't believe you just hit me with- I just saw a meme about double sarcasm today. <laughs> Bruh, I peeved we didn't get to hear what Alex said at the beginning because her mic quality was so bad and <laughs> you were talking over it. Gordon, keep eyelids open. There are supplies. Gordon, no. Humans are too weak around these parts. Gordon, I will attempt to acquire a rocket launcher from the fallen helicopter. Sorry, dude, you're using too many Gordon, words in this sentence. You must turn it in. <laughs> there is no other option. Gordon, I'll get much better weaponry. Then <laughs> humans will die. Let's ba break down the problems with this guy's grammar. He said Gordon like six times. Okay, <laughs> we already know who he's addressing. You don't need to. You don't need to go through it again. Uh, he said something that was like three redundant three times over, and then <laughs> he decided that he was just going to make the entire speech one sentence, no punctuation. Sounded fine to me. Gordon, I'm hurt. Can't move. Go on without me. Find my father. There's an emergency bunker near the inner gate. He's in command there. Tell him that I. Ah. Uh, I. And <laughs> she's fading into the force. <laughs> How did she crash our plane into this spot? 
The and wings are made just, of like mattresses. And then just dies. How are we supposed to get our plane out of this situation? Oh, look, there's the Citadel. We could just jump to it. We could, but I think we're supposed to take the elevator. Oh. Oh, okay. I told you. Is this gonna go all the way down a skyscraper? Well, we have time to talk about, like, our surroundings or whatever. I mean, I don't have... I moved my other microphone upstairs, and all I have down here now are my pug mask and the rubber cement. Uh, is the rubber cement there so that you can, like, glue the mask to your face? Oh, absolutely not. I needed it for an art class, and I used it exactly once, and then I realized I hated it and never wanted to use it again. I can't tell if it, that was the stalker making that noise or if it was that guy. Either way, I'm pretty sure that was a sound bite ripped from Return of the Jedi when Palpatine was thrown down the, the reactor shaft. <laughs> Luckily, he quick saved before that tragedy. Exactly. <laughs> Palpatine returned. Why is that like your favorite meme? Every time I go to check your Twitter, the, like you only post like once every six months, and it's always something to do with that meme. I I know. Uh, I was literally before you said that I was literally Get about to say me. that's my favorite quote from the entire Star Wars saga, just because it's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> TVs. ATVs! Free- oh, free TVs! I thought you said ATVs. I'm surprised it took this long for the looting to start after the Resonance Cascade. Yeah, it took a couple years till everybody realized they could do that. This sniper will die now! Cover is required! That is the <laughs> most. <laughs> that is the most Everybody colorful sniper I've ever seen in my entire life. The sniper will die now. We're developing a bounce in the captain van. That's how you give away your position, okay? You want a piece of me? Acquired. Animal dot MDL. He just turns into goop. <laughs> Luckily, I will rocket hit. The sniper is dead now. Uh, no, Safari Man. Safari Man is our. Oh! He, she's back! She's back! She's gonna die again! <laughs> Hope you didn't have any trouble finding me! Uh oh! <laughs> and that was the Hydra, everybody. We'll never see it again. <laughs> Most people don't know, but I'm not going to make that joke. <laughs> I'm tired of it. What? Oh, okay. It he just, just took had to, a while. He had to think about it for a few minutes. I am glad you let him kill the bull squid first, though. That's not a bull squid. That is it is not? A, okay. That I is only, a crab. I only saw it out of the corner of the screen, so I just assumed. I'm sorry, Half-Life community. Half-Life beta community, get it right. All right, I'll admit that I have I have made some slip-ups, but don't dislike the video. I will dislike the video on all of your behalf, so nobody else has to. <laughs> I swear if we get more than one dislike on this video. Why is there like the A-Team theme in the background? I'm going to take a moment to address you directly to this corner. Yes, I'm speaking directly to Freeman now. The man who some people call some God. God. I have a query for him. How could you have chosen how could you to die? This is not how you do an echo effect. You are a science man <laughs> who has power to sway scientists and different workers to what they need to know. But you chose a path of stupid and dumb. Don't make a mistake, Gordon. This is not a science experiment in black race. This is simply killing people in end to man. Humans will fall into the void. Thanks to Freeman. Thanks to no matter what is chosen by you, I am not sure they would agree. Right now, I am scared. They think I am traitor bad man right you. I am not evil bad man. So much for console work. Help me, free men. Give up right now. Maybe combine not kill you then. Do 
the right decision. Free man. Free serve man. Serve. Okay, that was physically painful to listen to. You chose the path of stupid and dumb. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's the assassins. They're here. Oh, it's the whip synths. They're here. Oh, I, his head just sinks into his body when he dies. That's cool. I also love how there's elongated pyramids hanging from the ceiling. Those are spikes. These guys are actually reskinned Vortigots. I just realized that. I really love, you know, I just, I really, I, I really, you know, I love the architecture of the Half-Life 2 beta. It's just so unique and recognizable and they have holes in the void of the ruptured space-time sometimes, and it's like really... You know, it just really emphasizes the the cosmic horror elements of Half-Life, because, you know, the Half-Life was definitely inspired by H.P. Lovecraft's work, and a lot of people don't know that because they're not, like, educated enough uh, they don't really, like, pay attention to anything because they're just, like, stupid gamers that play games because they're games. And, but, like, you know, people who know about H.P. Lovecraft and stuff can, like, really appreciate the eldritch horror concepts found in Half-Life 1 and the Half-Life 2 beta. But it wasn't really implemented in Half-Life 2 so much because Valve is, like, stupid and they don't know what they're doing with their own games. And I, I really think that taxes should be lowered. I'm glad I stopped talking because I wanted to see how long you could go before you ran out of things to say. <laughs> oh, we're here at the console's office, which is- Is he just gonna tell us to get out again? I love how his his giant TV orb is rotating on like very weird axis. <laughs> This is how you did 360 view before VR headsets were invented, okay? It's called ingenuity. It's beautiful, isn't it? City down there is green and pretty like rainforest. This is a part of my master design, Gordon. I work with the Combine. They give me power. They can give you power, but you must first surrender. Give me gun. Otherwise, you will be shot. Alex Vance is captured and no longer dead for much longer, I cannot tell. Your choice is for humans down there in the fog brain forest. Gordon, you cannot listen to him. He will destroy City 17 with his evil green skies. The skies will rain down on us like acidic smoke and all apron workers will die. Gordon, you cannot do it. The console is an evil bad man. He is against my father, Dad. He will kill all of us. He is evil jokester, trickster like clown. God, you must do it. God so is our overlord god man. He is evil man, but evil combine is good for new human species. Join us, Gordon. Gordon, it's time to choose. Press the red button to join us evil bad men, Gordon. Remember to not press the green button. Do not even consider for one second of your day pressing that green button. <laughs> I swear, the console literally has the mind of a 12-year-old. <laughs> Everybody does. Alex literally is a 12-year-old, judging by her height. Are we gonna, are we gonna kill the console, or are we gonna gain immortality with the combine? Are we gonna be good or bad? Why are there chairs here, and why are they so tiny? You press the green button, Gordon. I hate you. You are a stupid young man. You are a young Gordon, you press the green button and now you will die for pressing that green button. My mind is transplanted directly into a CPU. My body and brain is now made better and less bad. I have no hands, Gordon. <laughs> Did he just say his body was made better and less bad? Yes. <laughs> Those mean the same thing. Also, I just realized that's basically the plot to Aperture Desk Job. Yeah. <laughs> Which, actually, that whole concept of uh, Cave Johnson 
having his conscience transferred to a computer and then trying to get you to put him out of his misery was actually going to be in Portal 2, uh, like at the end. He was going to be like this little computer monitor and he was going to be like, Hey, that's me, Cave Johnson, down here, kill me. <laughs> but they like removed it from the game because they thought it was too dark or something. You know, beta's always dark. And then they just decided to release it as its own game. <laughs> just turn the whole thing into a game instead. Specifically to train you on the controls with the Steam Deck. <laughs> Is there a specific wiki for the Half-Life 2 beta? Oh, I did it. Well, that just about wraps it up. I hope you enjoyed Half-Life 2 Beta Minimalist. What happens if we press the other button? Let's press the other button. Alternate ending. I'll wait till he stops talking over himself to press it so we could actually hear what happens. You press the red button, Gordon. I am proud of you, son. You have done well. You are now part of the evil combine bad men. Good job. Nice shoes. That green button. My mind is transplanted. Okay, it just loaded the quick save after that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Plot twist, you still have to kill the boss. <laughs>